Hey everybody, hi, Jim again. Um, we're just showing very basic wig wraps. This is like introductory wig application. I'm not going into a lot of detail about lace fronts, glue, specialty stuff, which is all things you need to know if you say that you know how to do wigs on set. A lot of people in my experience have said that they do and they don't. So we're just trying to demystify, get this out of the way. It doesn't mean that what you're doing is wrong. It means that there's another way. Um, your way might be the right way. 90% uh, of the time, everybody's happy if it looks the way that it's supposed to look and it does the job. Um, so I just wanna be very mindful and, and be really clear that this is introductory. This is not mastery. This is how to get a bird on it, like put a wig on and do it quickly. So more so for background. Um, this little Missy doesn't have a lot of hair. Imagine that her hair is down to like here, okay? So what we're gonna do is take quadrants First things first, always get this on them, get them to help you with this, put their thumbs on it. I'll never ever drag this over their face, but in this case I will. If their thumbs are in there, you can push it forward. So ideally we'd like them to go through us first to get the wig wrap done. Um, that doesn't always happen. So it's, it's nice to get this wig cap on before they go to makeup. So then when they come back to us, we're just placing the wig on and pinning it down or gluing it or whatever we need to do. Uh, I can't stress this enough. You really need to know what the action of our artist is going through. Are they a stunt person? Are they going into the water? Is it raining out? What is? What are they doing? Are they on a motorcycle without a helmet riding through the rain? Are they on a horse? What? If it's a stunt, are they being thrown? What's the stunt? And those things can change. So whatever you think you need to do to address this process can change. So if you don't do it properly, you're gonna stop everything because you have to reapply or things happen, wigs come off, um, glues dissipate, but we'll go through all of those things in another uh, film because this is, this is just about the core underneath. So I would have the artist hold that with their hand. This is very simple, doesn't need to be difficult. Again, don't do that to your artist. I'm going to repeat this so Jesse sees it on the other side. These snap clips, just get them at a dollar store spray paint them matte colors. Um, I only use them for this part. I take them out before I put the wig cap or after the wig caps on because I don't want all this extra hardware causing trouble. So you can see that we're just tightening this as much as we can, getting it down, locking it, we're getting rid of the hair. So if there was another foot of hair, you just keep twisting it and it's tighter. If we need to, we can use um, gels or adhesives or whatever to slick the hair down, whether it's gaff quad or not. Gaff quad is not always your best friend, but sometimes you actually need to use it. But if you see what I've done here, what will just see? Just with that little bit of pressure, all I'm doing is twisting the hair. That's it. That's it, right? Honestly, People freak out about this one. This was taught to me by 
a number of different people, mostly drag queens. <laughs> that's it, that's all you've done, but you see how much hair is gone, right? So now on the sides, same deal. Crying baby upstairs. You don't need to, you can actually just, with this length of hair, we're just gonna do it this way. So be mindful as to how you're putting these in because they're coming out, right? I would take a lot more time to do this. Uh, this is just for the filming process. Flat. Flat is good. So the head can grow, it can be bigger, but it needs to stay, maintain that shape, right? And of course there's little bits and pieces that can get tucked in and whatever. I know this isn't perfect, it's not ideal, this is meant to be introductory and just a couple of different options to show you. So again, we do the same old, same old, up it goes. I'm gonna put the clips in and show you the same technique because I wanna show you how I take these out before we apply the wig. Same deal, the artist would help. I would never, ever, ever pull that up over somebody's face, but for the sake of this, it's just what we need to do. When in doubt, a little wiggle is a good thing. We want that behind the ear. I tend to put these five clips in the same place every single time for every single person. I know where they are. Generally, other people know where they are. You can feel these if you need to. This is where we get them to put their head down. This spot is always a bit tricky. It's silly on a mannequin because it's like jelly in there underneath. So these don't snap the way that they should if it's a person's head. There's a tendon that goes down the necks and where the muscle attaches to the skull is kind of where you want to do this. This isn't the cleanest and tidiest. It's not meant to be for this example. Okay. Same deal if you need a little more lump for stability. We just use our French pins. Same as always, asking, making sure that they're comfortable, that these don't hurt. Because if they hurt now, they're really gonna hurt in an hour and they have to come off or out. Yeah, I'm just gonna edit that out. Yeah, that's okay. We just have the one here to hold everything. That's what we need. So I'm gonna go in and take out these clips. So remember when I put them in, I put them in a certain way because I can go in through the back here. You might wanna see this. They just slip out. I know how many I put in, I know where they are, I can see them, I can feel them. Stunt people especially will be very, very helpful and happy that you've taken these out because they will bother them.
same deal. We're going to fold this, fold it, pin it. two in there if you need two 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 pay pins here and here but again the basic head shape is there you take your time to smooth this out and you're good to go that's it